Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing this morning? Okay, good. I'm doing okay. Um, I am going to show you a little of me this morning. And I'm also going to later in the video show you a little of me at the end of the day. So this is in the morning. Now, as you can see, I have, I'm going to show you what I did. Sometimes at night, I put four plaits on my hair. And yes, I said plaits. We used to say plaits. But four braids on my hair. And what I do is just pull it down like this. Put a braid right here. Put a braid right here. And the same on the other side. Now, why do I do? And then I also put a little rubber band at the end so the braid won't unravel. Now, why do I do that? Because, now, let's, you know, people always say you should have a silk um pillowcase to sleep on which is good but sometimes that silk pillowcase makes me a little hot it makes me sweat and so sometimes I don't want to put the silk pillowcase on and I could also like I do sometimes I wrap my hair you know so that I, it can stay protected uh, but sometimes that makes me hot ladies you all know what I'm talking about so in the case where I don't feel like having anything on my hair or not sleeping on that satin or silk pillowcase, that's what I do. I just plait it up, put a little rubber band on the end, and I'm good. So this morning, before I got on camera, camera, I brushed my teeth, and then I also, you know, took the braids down and just combed them out a little. Now, I'm also going to show you my hair me me doing my hair but before I do I want to show you just a little of what I've showed you before my morning routine now I'm also going to pull this back so it won't be getting all wet and just put a little see just put a little thing on it a little clamp pull it back so it won't get wet you know I used to think, why do people want to see what people do in the bathroom as far as their morning routine? And then I myself found it was kind of interesting to watch people see what, what their morning routine look like. What is their morning routine? Because sometimes we can kind of tweak our own routine by just looking at somebody else's routine. So I'm going to show you a little of that. Uh, and also I'm going to do this. Now, when I get... First of all, let me show you all. See, y'all see me all, every time y'all see me, I'm kind of covered up with these uh, caftans. So you can't really see the progress. You all see the progress? Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to show you all that. Because it just looked like, wow, she still, I still got a lot. But it's coming down. It's working. <laughs> okay. Now, when my daughter bought me these, I said, thank you, but I was actually, just let you all see these. They are for your wrist. And I was thinking, baby, I don't, in my head, I didn't say this to her. Baby, I don't need no wristbands. <laughs> but she said, these are for when you are doing your face, washing your face, your hair, whatever, to stop the water from going all the way up your arm. I said, oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Well, I didn't use them. This is my first time using them. And I'm going to tell you why I'm using them. After that, when I was washing my face, many times I've done it. And I do notice that the water will slide down your arm. Sometimes even mess your, make your clothes wet. You know, make your clothes spotty with water. And I said, oh, so that's why that is, that's why that's effective. So I'm showing you that this morning. Okay? Yeah. I am going in today with my old trusty Noxzema. You all see that? My Noxzema. Okay. And I do have my, you all, I know y'all was laughing at that blooper at the end of that uh, uh, home goods haul. And I left it in there for a reason. I said, no, I'm, this is ha what happened. I'm not taking it out. <laughs> I'm just going to let them laugh at it. You know, sometimes I think it's not good to take yourself too seriously. 
you know, laugh. Hey, we need some laugh. After all this crazy stuff happening in the world we live in today, we need something to just crack us up and make us forget for just, if it's just for a few minutes, to just laugh. So I left that in there and I said, nope, I'm not taking it out. So did you all see that? My uh, home goods uh, haul, and I was showing you the different little things that I bought from there. But at the end, I had this tripod, and this tripod has a remote control to it. And before I got on camera, even did it, I tried. I'm like, oh, this is nice. This, oh, this cuts it off because it cut it on for me. I was sitting down when I cut it on. But I don't know what happened at the end, <laughs> but because it didn't work. <laughs> And I just, I, I know I was trying to be fancy. Like I said, like, I'm going to show them that, honey, I have a tripod and the blooper is what you see at the end. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's funny. It'll make you laugh. I also saw the video with uh, me and Devin and the granddaughters and uh, what is it? DSW. That'll crack you up too because Devin is an absolute I don't want to say fool, but she is so silly in that video. Okay, so this is my Noxzema. I just make sure I put it over my whole face. Okay? Get it over my whole face. Rinse that out. And I rinse that out a little because, and then I also dry it off. I'm not going to do this on camera, but I rinse it off good because I don't want that to be caked up in my little brush. Okay. Now, I could let this sit in or I could go in with this which I want to exfoliate so I'm not going to let it sit in and turn this water off and I'll show you all this little thing I, I mentioned this before I love it this is another brush this is a smaller brush when I did it the first time on this uh, on my channel I had the big brush because it comes with more than one attachment so this is the smaller brush and you can you see you hear the speed Now I'm going to turn it up so it has more than one speed on it. As a matter of fact, I think it has two or three. And I can already feel this stuff working. Because what it does is not only is it exfoliating, but you can feel that, that Noxzema, because Noxzema has some kind of menthol or something in there that you feel like a tingling, fresh sensation when you put it on your face. And I can feel it like going in my pores. Just feeling refreshing. Sometimes when you're tired, especially in the morning and at night, you do this and it just makes your skin feel fresh. So, um, you don't have to do it alone. And I also like to get over my eyes. And oh, don't forget the crevices of your nose. Please don't forget that. Now, I could go down to my neck, but I also have another routine for my neck that involves alcohol. Because I don't care how much you clean your neck, you do it in the shower every day when you take your shower, how much you clean your neck, some kind of way, oils and stuff, and, still can make your, make your neck, darken your neck. So what I like to do is I like to go in there with some alcohol and some pads and just scrub it. And I'm telling you, you could be then just got out of the shower, just touch that and clean your neck. And you go in with some alcohol and the pad and you will be amazed when you look at that pad like, wow, the dirt, the oil that's still on your neck. So that's what I do for that. But again, I'm going to go ahead and do this routine. And now I'm going to wash. Oh, feel good, y'all. Treat yourself. Treat yourself sometime. Woo! I just keep doing this with this thing. Treat yourself. Oh, you all see? <laughs> Let me get out the way because you don't supposed to see the phone. Okay. And then I like to rinse this out. It's not going to hurt to rinse it off even while it's still on and rotating. Again, I'm not going to do it, all of that on this candle because it's going to take too long. But this will be cleaned thoroughly as well as this will be cleaned thoroughly. 
after each use. You don't want to just germs, bacteria, you don't want all this set in there. So again, going over here, let me see, can I show you all here real quick? Get my towel over here. Okay. All right, we good. And this is where this comes in at. Give me a minute to wash my face. Preferably, y'all, take a white towel when you're washing your face. Try not to put color on your face. Those dyes in there, just yeah, try not to put it. Even though, you know, some of us wash our towels when we buy them, we wash them before we use them. Still, just try to always use a white towel. Okay. Now, you all see, I don't know if you can see, that it won't go down. It's going to only saturate that wrist thing. Okay. Okay. And as I mentioned, when you're washing your face, always go up. You know, everybody have a routine. You don't mean my routine better than your routine, but we should have some kind of routine to keep our skin, keep our skin looking good. Yeah, I like to get in that nah, that mold. Oh, my nose got water in it. That's what I'm cleaning, y'all. Okay. Okay. Now, as I mentioned before, I don't. Go with a drying towel to dry my skin. I I can take these off now. Put it here. Nox, I mean, not noxema. Baby oil. Oh, my skin already feels so good. It does. I don't know if I told you all that I cut my nails. Cause I don't like my nails to get too long and when they do they grow and then I just cut them and then they grow again and then I cut them some people can work with nails and do things with nails it they get in the way for me so when they get them to a certain size I cut them, I cut them. now y'all let me see if you all can see me a little closer Let me see. Yeah, I still haven't put my, my bathroom curtain up. But it's made. It's finished. I just, I'm not getting up there. Somebody gonna get up there because it's too tall. Somebody gonna get up there. Put it up for me. Again, this is a bathroom that I fell in. So, we're not doing that no more. We learn from our mistakes, don't we? <laughs> Let me just position this back. Okay, y'all. Come on. All right. Put my towel on here. Put my top. Yes. This showing you a little of my routine. Now, today, my hair will be going to the back. And you all see, it's soft. See, that's what they, when you condition your hair, put that moisturizer on there, put that braid on there, that plait, it keeps your hair soft. It, make, it, it holds it in, that braid holds it in. Let me throw this little hair in 
waste basket. And who don't? I remember when we were younger. Let me tell y'all just a quick story. We were younger and we lived with this lady. Uh, her name was Miss Martin. My mother had nine children and uh, it was hard. And at this particular time, we I think we got burned out. We One of our houses burned down. Uh, <laughs> that's a story for me to tell you all at a different time because we accidentally did it. Me and two other my siblings. But anyway, uh, well, we got burned out. And uh, and we lived with this lady, and her name was Miss Martin. Nice lady. She said, you all can stay. It was a big, a big uh, three-family, three-story house. She said, you all can stay downstairs. Well, Miss Martin had the longest, longest, beautiful hair. R really elderly lady. Beautiful, long hair. And so my mother said, she likes her hair, Miss Morton likes her hair to be brushed 100 strokes. Y'all yeah, remember that, that old thing like brush your hair, do 100 strokes. So my mother had seven girls and two boys. So the girls would take time to go upstairs and take Miss, because we have we gave her two big braids, two long braids, her braids were so long. So we gave her two braids, but we would take it down and brush Miss Morton's hair 100 time, times while we talked to her. And she would sit in that chair, she would be nodding her head because it felt so good to her just to have her hair braided. And so uh, after we finished braiding it, it was also our job, put it down the middle. That's probably where I got this from, I'm not sure. Put it down the middle and put her two plaits back on there. And she said, thank you, baby. So when I, uh, do my hair. I don't do this every day like we did Miss Morton hair. But when I think about it, I like to give my hair 100 strokes. Now, am I gonna give myself 100 strokes on this camera in front of you all? No, cause y'all ain't got time for that. But just let you know that that is good. It also helps the scalp. It helps the to stimulate growth. So that's probably why Miss Morton hair was so long. So. I am going to end this part of the video, but in the evening when I come back, I'm going to also show you a little of my evening routine. Ah, I also wanted to do this. I wanted to say welcome to James D. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Village James. So glad to have you. And also to my friend, Teresa. Hi, Teresa H. Welcome to the village. I appreciate you subscribing. So, having said that, I'm going to finish getting ready. Yeah, my my hair routine is going to be way, way too long. Um, so, I'm going to, I got to put moisturizer and all this going to be way too long. So, you'll see my hair, the finished product, when I come back, okay? So, in the meantime... I'm, gonna, I'm not going to even say have a good day and do it on purpose because this is not the end of the video. This is just the end of this segment. See y'all in a bit. Bye-bye. Good evening, everybody. I'm back. How y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? I'm doing good. Just a little tired, but I'm doing good. I wanted to come back, like I said I would this morning, and uh, just show you all. See my simple hairstyle? It's slick now, but I have oil in it. I have moisture, um, leave-in conditioner in it, and just was a simple plait and then tucked it under. So that was my style for the day. But anyway, I also wanted to say, this morning when I was talking to you all, I mentioned something about me and two of my siblings burning our house down. So I'm gonna tell you a little more about that because I bet you all were thinking, what? She in the in the beginning of this video, this was this morning. How they burn the house burn the house down? Okay. So let me set it up for you. I'm in the kitchen. My mother just made some uh finished making some uh black eyed peas. She had a pan of cornbread, a big old pan of cornbread, because my mom had nine children, like I mentioned. 
and I had just finished cutting me some tomatoes up, cutting me some onions, and we had some sweet pickle relish. So I was putting it all together because I was going to take that. I think they call it, what do they call it now? Chow chow? I don't know what they call it. But I was going to take that mixture and put it in my beans and take my cornbread and crumble it all up in there, right? I was ready. All of a sudden, I hear this loud noise, me and my mother, because we were in the kitchen. I heard this loud noise from upstairs. And my mother and I looked at each other like, what is that? So we looked out from upstairs on the second floor. S fire, smoke was coming from everywhere. The house was on fire, okay? Now, now let me take you back to how that happened. My mother had been telling us for the longest, get your clothes ready for school. Get your clothes ready for the next day, okay? Now, getting our clothes ready didn't consist of putting clothes in a washer, uh, a washing machine in a dryer. <laughs> no, we had to clean our clothes, but at this particular time, we were cleaning our clothes on a, what do you call it, a uh, washboard in the tub. So we would, we'd have this, we would put the uh, water in the tub and take the detergent and scrub. It was like a scrub board. We would scrub, scrub your socks, your clothes. So that's what we were doing. Now, she did have one of those old washers, you know, those old washers where you put the clothes through the ringer, had the two rolls on there, and you put the clothes through there, and that's how they wring it out. Well, that wasn't working, apparently. So we were working with their scrub board. Now, that's what we were supposed to be doing. So we, she kept on saying, hurry up and get you all clothes ready for school tomorrow. You got some clothes clean for school tomorrow? And, of course, we didn't. So... I'm trying to make this long story as short as I can, you know, but it's a joke. They say every time people say make a long story short, it's, it's never short. So I heard one person said, let me make this long story longer. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, so we, we, we waited too long. Now, upstairs where, you, where I said all that fire was coming from, the smoke was coming from, there was no light. Either there was no light bulb in the ceiling or there was something wrong with the electric up there and we didn't have any light. So it, at any rate, that's why she was telling us before it get dark, hurry up and get in there and get those clothes. So me, I, one of my brothers, I won't say which one, and one of my sisters, I won't say which one, we went upstairs and we started to try to find, we waited too long and it was dark in there. So we couldn't find our clothes. So we was like, how are we going to find our clothes? So my brother said, let's, my, let's take some matches and light the matches so that we can see our way, so we can be able to identify, oh, this my, these are my socks, these are my clothes, okay? Now, again, all these children, we had clothes that were in bundles. We call them bundles. Uh, have you ever been to the laundromat and you see somebody with a lot of children, they come in there and they have their clothes in big sheets or comforters and it's like a bundle you are some people i know you all can relate to this well that's our clothes were like that upstairs on the second floor so we lighting these matches trying to, and i'm finding our shirt finding my pants okay get our clothes long story short we get out because we got everything and we're going to now we, we got our stuff to clean well i'm still waiting i want them beans Okay, my mother made them. I want, I want those beans. So I got my clothes so I know I'm going to clean my clothes. Go back downstairs and about to eat those beans. And that's when, of course, I heard the sound. Now, what happened was this. Apparently, one of those matches touched one, some clothes and set it on fire. And as a result, that's where the fire started. Okay? Key is because... Kids can be something else sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, that's where the fire started. So when that happened, we she just immediately, now all our baby pictures, that's why none of us have baby pictures. None of our siblings have baby pictures. We don't know, uh, we don't have anything to look at and say, this is how I looked when I was little. All of our baby pictures, everything burnt up in that house. So we leave, we get out of the house, okay? 
the fire people come, it, it's, it's, the house is destroyed. We can no, no longer live in the house. Even the Red Cross come because they're trying to help us to see, okay, this family, they're going to need a place to stay. So when the police interviewed us, now me and my two sisters, my two siblings, my brother and my sister, we kind of figured out we did that. I think we did that. But we definitely was not going to say that to our mother that I think we started their fire. So what we did, <laughs> what we did was this. When they started coming around trying to interview and see, you know, try to see what the cause of the fire was because it looked like their fire started in their room, right? So they were trying to see, ask us any questions. How, did you see anything? Did, did you see anybody try to like, maybe somebody tried to throw a, 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 a what you call them, Molly, whatever it was. Maybe that happened and caught on fire. Did you all see anybody? And so we said, we know what happened. And so this is the story that we told. We said it was a man. He was walking down the alley, and this and earlier, early that day, and he looked over and he started singing a song. I promise y'all, this is a true story. <laughs> he started singing a song. I'm gonna set you on fire, cause it's hot. You remember that song back then? And that, okay, that was that was a real song. And so we said that's what he was singing. I said so he was trying to trying to say that he was gonna set our house on fire. Well, they never found the person, cause it was not a real. It wasn't true. And that is how we ended up. And there's so much to that story. It is so much to this story, but. Like I said, I don't want to make a long story longer. So that is how we came to not have a home and Miss Morton taking us in and then us doing her hair and so forth. So what do y'all think? You all think we are horrible, horrible kids? <laughs> we were not horrible kids. We was just trying to find our clothes. And we knew that we better hurry and get those clothes so that we, look, end up couldn't go to school for a long time. So... Anyway, I just want to come back and just tell you all that story, relate that story to you, I think, because I think now we can. And I want to do my mother remember that because, of course, over the years we have said it, but, you know, sometimes we still have a tendency to say, I wonder if she's looking at this video and saying, so y'all did that? Like, Mama, yes, we said it. Everybody know that. we. This is This is not new anymore, so... Anyway, I am going to get off of here. I'm going to relax. I hope you all do the same thing. Uh, did you all like my long video? It's longer than usual. So I came here this morning and then I'm going to say good night to you all now. So have a good day or have a good night, I should say, and do it on purpose. I'll see you all soon.